Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we'll be working on today. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is paint a white French tip manicure over my thumbnail. The two colors I'm going to be using to marble on the side of my French manicure is a white acrylic paint along with this cranberry wine color. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to marble in my design and this is what the tip looks like. I'm going to begin by adding white dots over the side of my nail where I'm going to want to add the marble effect. So I'm just adding the white paint over that area. Next I'm going to dip into the burgundy color and I won't be adding so much of the burgundy, maybe about four or five dots. I added five there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin just swirling it around and you can decide to add a little more white as you go and um, just mixing it together. You can go round and round and if you notice that there's too much of one color usually always the darker color is the one that dominates the design. So I'm going to dip a little bit of the white paint and I'm just going to begin swirling that in and that just blends in nicely. So I'm just going to do that to the very side of the French manicure. Now I'm going to be applying this glitter over my white polished area. It's by Tulip. It's fashion glitter. This one's called Hollow Fine Silver. Here I have a piece of paper. What I've done is I fold it in half and I'm going to be placing some of the glitter over the side of the paper. This way if there's any leftover glitter all I have to do is pour it back into the container. Now I'm going to be getting top coat and I'm only going to be applying it over the area where I want the glitter to stay. So it's only over the rest of the white French manicure. Now with my finger I'm going to press down and you can see the glitter there and all I'm going to do is just pat it onto the area where I applied the top coat and it'll only stick to that area. So it could look a little bit sloppy so just randomly apply it with your finger or if you want to use a brush that's also fine. I'm just applying it over that entire area. Now with a chisel blender brush I'm just brushing away the excess glitter and it'll just come off of everywhere. It's just going to stay over the area where you applied your top coat. This next step is optional. I'm going to be applying top coat, outlining my French manicure and I'm going to be placing a 3mm size crystal a 2mm size crystal and a 1mm size rhinestone. This is the color I'm going to be applying over my ring fingernail in a French manicure. It's by Wet n Wild and it's called Extravaganza. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to paint my one stroke flower and this is what the tip looks like. Using the same burgundy paint I used for my marbling I'll be dipping half of my brush in the burgundy and the other half in the white paint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to blend those two colors together and just continue doing this until I feel that my brush is completely loaded. I'm going to begin my first flower petal over the polished area, the French manicure. I'm just going to continue going all around. The angling of the brush is very important when it comes to painting any flower. So we want it to end right in the center.
Over the center of my flower, I'm going to be adding a couple of dots, which is completely optional because I'm also going to be adding a crystal in the center. But if you don't want to add a crystal, just adding dots all around is fine. Now using some white paint, I'm going to be painting a couple of swirls coming down alongside the nail. I'll also be adding some swirls over the burgundy French manicure. I'll be adding three tiny little dots over the bottom area, top coat over the center of my flower, and a 2mm size crystal over the center. All you have left to do is to apply your top coat sealing in your design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!